Hello. Hello. I'm Caitlin Powell. And I'm Kate Butch. And welcome to Queers Gone By, the show we talk about nostalgic film, TV, and snacks and try to work out if that's what made us queer. Today. 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 Oh, today. It's kind of our six month anniversary. Very exciting. Um, which is, you might be thinking to yourself, that's not really a, a milestone, is no, it? Well, it's not, is it? It's but... not, but <laughs> you know who does celebrate their half birthday? The, the queen. queen. And uh, who's the queen of this podcast? Tracy, Tracy Beaker. Beaker. So we're going back. We're revisiting Tracy Beaker. Back to our roots. It was our first episode. Mm-hmm. It's now our six month anniversary. We might do every half a year. Yeah, every... <laughs> we'll come back to Tracy Beaker. In 80 years, we'll get to it. <laughs> Four episodes of Tracy Beaker a year. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a slog. Yeah. Um, but before we get on to that, should we have our snack of the day? Oh, yeah, a little snack. A nostalgic snack. Yes. Um, it's... Um, it kind of makes sense. Does it? <laughs> it's achievement. It represents oh, achievement. Oh, I see. Um, oh, yeah, award me all these bad boys. And it's also about... Thank you. You're very welcome. There's one for you and here's one for me. It's, um, I don't know how to describe it without saying what it is. It's a it's bar It's a bar and it's gold. gold. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gold bar. It's a gold bar. I used to have these all the time. I have had one once, I think. I, I have a really sweet tooth and these, these are it. Oh. oh, bloody hell, that's not gold. That oh is. my God. This looks like <laughs> butter. <laughs> it's basically a stick of, or like cheese. Red Leicester cheese. It looks like Red Leicester cheese. <laughs> oh my God. A it's... stick of, you know you can get those little sticks of cheese. Yes. Can we have one of those? Well, you would cheat I'll yourself. I'll watch you eat but... it. <laughs> <laughs> Should we cheer A baby up? bell. Why does it smell of? Sugar. Yeah, it smells like. It's sweet and vanilla Mm. Should we, Should we cheers <laughs> the gold bars? It smells like a, one of those really sweet lush things. Oh, yeah. yeah. It definitely smells synthetic. Yes. Should we cheers right. our gold bars? Oh, they're quite clacky. Clack, 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 clack. If you say clack over it, they can't hear the clack. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> no. You're welcome. <laughs> that was Morse code for help. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have, a, let's have a bite. Oh. It's solid. Mm-hmm. Wait, is this chocolate? I don't know. It's not vegan, but oh. mm. give a shit. And I probably will. <coughs> <laughs> Many, several. Mm. Um, it's all right. Um, it certainly tastes of yellow. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just kind of like, this is what rich people eat. <laughs> it's certainly not. Mm. Bank robbery. I'm going to save mine for the end. Oh. I don't, no, I, I, yeah, it's, I used to eat these, like, on the regular. I can barely get through one mouthful. I'm just finishing one. Treat yourself. Mm. Go for it. You finish that and I'll just... (laughs) I'll spitball. I'll freewheel. (laughs) Um, Trace Beaker, you've been requesting it. Mm -hmm. Um, You want us to go back to it. It's our highest listened to episode. Mm. um, Because I think a lot of people do strongly relate to Tracy Beaker. It is a big nostalgia time for everybody. Mm -hmm. Um, Certainly us. And it's kind of cringy, but in a way... Like stuff she does, you're like, oh, and then you're like, I definitely did shit like that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Not on the regs, but... Bad girls, <laughs> talking about the sad girls. She's certainly a sad girl. She is. Yeah, a lot of sad moments in oh, this. Oh, bloody hell. One of the things I had forgotten since we first recorded is, big trauma. <laughs> big trauma. <laughs> There's worm trauma. There's... Just, abandonment trauma yeah. well, that's the general overarching yeah. theme is abandonment trauma yeah. um it's yeah they've certainly amped up the sad flashbacks yeah because we so in the first episode we we listened to episode one and episode three yeah well we were told it was episode one and two mm-hmm. but we accidentally watched one and three yeah we were lied to so um, now today we've watched two and four yes so we're kind of just hopscotching around <laughs> hopscotching <laughs> leapfrogging yeah and... <laughs> nice yeah um yeah. Um, so we watched Dares and Cam's first visit. That's right, Cam. Cam. Exciting. <laughs> so, but first, Dares. Dares. Dares Starts is episode off. two. Big spook. Big spook. Um, for context, <gasps> last night me and Caitlin went to watch uh, The Woman in Black. Mm-hmm. Um, this was more of a big spook than The Woman in Black. <laughs> yeah. Woman in... <laughs> we were sitting on the aisle. That we would use, Excuse we'd... me, I was sitting Sorry. on the aisle because you refused to. <laughs> yes. Uh, Kayla was sitting on the aisle, uh, which is where, spoiler alert, the woman in black walks down. Mm-hmm. That's the only bit I knew. Like Everyone says, oh, she comes into the audience. I thought she'd like climb over my face. Like, <laughs> <laughs> And I have to say to Caitlin, 
please do not slap the woman in black. I can't help myself. If I'm scared, I'm slapping. <laughs> yeah, we did think she was going to like just like walk down the aisle and turn around and scream in our faces. Yeah. But she just she just walked. She just potted about. Yeah, it wasn't as scary as She I wasn't it was a lady on a mission. <laughs> 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 Side note, I thought she was going to be queer. Because there's a bit where she's like, she was writing letters like, my dearest oh, yeah. Emily, love mm-hmm. from Jenny. And I was like, oh. Oh. And then it was like, you are my sister. And I was like, oh. Yeah. And I was like, I have a, I'm a single woman. I was like, oh. Oh. Yeah. I but- have a child. Oh. Sorry. In that kitten heel. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known from the kitten heel. Yeah. Straight away. Absolutely not. She'd do a little, like, there's a bit where she's she's trying to spook someone out in a church and they're turned away. So she just stands behind them and does a little jig. (laughs) That was a bit quick. She's doing a bop, 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 bop to the top. Yeah. (laughs) Anyway. Love it. Tracy Beaker starts in a very very similar way. It's dark, it's night. Mm -hmm. Um, The Cockney children, they're back. Yes, the Cockney children. Back in a big way. (laughs) And they're like, wake up, I hear some noises downstairs. There's someone downstairs. And I'm like, oh, it's the woman in black. <laughs> it's Dick Van Dyke. Yes. Here, yeah, Mary, it's a jolly holiday. <laughs> Come on downstairs. We've got to go and see what there's intruders coming in. For some reason they have a baseball bat. Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whack him over the head. <laughs> I'm going to commit a murder. <laughs> <laughs> you can't murder a ghost. True. If it's the woman in black. Mm-hmm. But this isn't right Tracy Beaker, keep it's, up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they open the door and they're like, because ah! it's Tracy Beaker. Yeah. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? <laughs> Cannot believe mm-hmm. Tracy Beaker's in this. Yes. Um, she's rooting through the filing cabinets. Yep. Um, she's flicking through all the papers. Yeah. And she's woken up the whole house. The whole house. Mm-hmm. So and I'm going to sleep because of y'all. <laughs> y'all, I'm not going to sleep because of me. <laughs> that video, it looks like she's in the dumping ground. It does! Yeah. <laughs> What's that from? I've no idea. Trace Beaker. <laughs> what is that? That's going to piss me off. I'll post it on the social media. Yes, please do. Um, and you can see that it does look like the dumping ground. Yeah. <laughs> in the decor. Yeah. I think it's probably a bright green wall. Yeah. <laughs> if you'll remember, Trace Beaker's old room. <clears throat> Foul bright green wall. Foul. Awful. Green screen. And then Trace Beaker's like, Ryan, you total twonk. Why are you shouting? <laughs> Love and twonk. 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 <laughs> twonk. Twonk, twonk. Twonk, <laughs> I did that to someone who hadn't seen Drag Race the other day and they were very confused. That's with the action. <laughs> if you haven't seen Drag Race, it's a little boob nudge. A boob shrug. Yeah. Wah, Bug. Wah. But yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and then, then in comes... What's her name? Jenny. Jenny. Yeah. Jenny from the block. Yes. Uh, and she's like, what are you doing? And Tracy Beaker's like, saving you, actually. And I was like, here we fucking go. <laughs> here begins Tracy's lies. <laughs> she's like, there were burglars in the house. Mm-hmm. Wait, why is she a cop? <laughs> she's just a little bit. Burglars <laughs> in the house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, By the end of this, they're not going to be saying words. They're going to be like, owie, owie. Oh, we're yeah. burglars at the apples and pears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for any cockneys listening. <laughs> I think Tracy Beaker's dad is Del Boy Trotter. <laughs> ah, it's a theory. Conspiracy theory. <laughs> Top 10 Tracy Beaker conspiracy theories. <laughs> uh, uh, number one, her mum's Gillian Anderson. What? I think, I think Tracy Beaker's Oh, mom. I see what you mean. In the big, big screen adaptation, mm-hmm. not Tracy Beaker the movie of me, the small screen adaptation, mm-hmm. the feature length adaptation. Oh, what? What's it called? I don't think I've seen that. There isn't one. Oh. I'm making it. Oh. <laughs> this is my dream casting. Okay. Gillian Anderson mm-hmm. as Tracy Beaker's mum. Yeah. Everyone else the same. Yeah. Danny Harmer, if Danny Harmer doesn't. Uh, yeah, Danny Harmer. Montana yeah. Thompson? Yes, Montana Thompson. Mm-hmm. Queer icon, Justin Littlewood. Oh, yeah. If you haven't listened to our first uh, Tracy Beaker. We should so, have said that to begin yeah, with. Yeah, um, Justin Littlewood is a queer icon. Get on board. Otherwise, you're not going to enjoy this. <laughs> yeah. Justin Littlewood made you gay. Yeah. There's no choice. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you're a gay man, she made you gay. Even if you're like, straight, just a little bit made you gay. Yeah. Get on board. Yeah. Get with it. <laughs> and then it's like, Tracy's all, oh, there's a burglar in the house. And yeah. I was saving you, actually. And she, Jenny says, oh, by going through the files, specifically your files. Mm-hmm. 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 And um, then we go to the morning time. The next day, and clearly, like, the actress who plays Elaine was having a few complaints. They were like, fuck it, we'll put her in a scene. <laughs> We meet Elaine the Pain. Yeah. It's our first appearance. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> wow. She's in 
an interesting. It's kind of a oh a god polo shirt meets a jumper mm-hmm. meets maybe a dress. Yep, it is lime green in the middle. Yep, and then pink at the side. Bright pink sleeves. Oh. It's a choice. It's a straight choice. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's it's not a good one. <laughs> it's a turn of the century choice. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. I always imagined Le- Elaine as like maybe forty, oh, really? but in this she looks about twenty five. Yeah, she looks quite young. Yeah, yeah. Because when you're a child, oh yeah, everyone's really old, mm. aren't they? Yeah. Have I told you this? Uh, um, taking it to a dark place. Uh, when my <gasps> grandpa died, um, I was like three weeks old. Um, oh, my granddad died when I was about three weeks old. Yeah. Wow. It's kind of, it's kind one, of in they, one in, one out. It's what they do. <laughs> one in, one out. Yeah. <laughs> Which is my mother's beanie baby policy later on in life. Aww. She was like, you have too many. <laughs> How many did you <laughs> Throw have? one away oh and you'll get one back. you get a new one. Christ. I was like, That's how my grandpa died. Uh, <laughs> fat dog. A little bit. An exchange of souls. What? Your granddad for a beanie baby? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's not what you meant, is it? <laughs> no, me for my grandpa. No. Oh, was anyway. That, was that your story? No, 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 no. no. Okay. And later on in life, I yeah. asked my grandma why my grandpa had died. Aw. Um, and she said the thing that you would say to any small child. Yeah. Be like, oh, he was, he was very old. Mm-hmm. He wasn't. He was like 50-something. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, and then cut to me in nursery school. Uh-huh. And one of my classmates, grandmothers, is picking people up and saying hi and everyone. Mm-hmm. And said, oh, hello. What's your name? So I told her. Um, asked her what her name was as well. I can't remember what it is. Yep. Um, and she said, and how old are you? And I said, oh, I'm five. Because I was. <laughs> yep. And obviously being polite and a great conversation smith, I said, how old are you? Mm-hmm. And she said, oh, I'm very old. Oh, no. And I said, you'll be dead soon. That family. Stop talking to my family. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, when you're younger, everything looks bigger, everyone looks older. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. It's like the whole thing, like, when, if, like, an older kid comes around to, like, babysit you or something, yeah. then you're like, oh, my God, this person is 30, and they're, like, a year older than you. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're, like, like, they are maximum, like, 13 or something. <laughs> like, they are like, so young. <laughs> Do you remember when, like, 50p was the most money you could ever have? Yeah. It kind of comes around in circles, isn't it? Because like, when you're a child, 50p, and then you get like a student loan, maybe. Yeah, you, you, get, stop, you get some money, job, you're like, oh yeah. my God, thousands of pounds. Mm-hmm. And then you're in your mid-20s. <sighs> oh, God. And 50p is a huge amount of money. I would kill 50p <laughs> Again. right now. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> if you want to give us 50p. Oh, please. Just give us, just PayPal. <laughs> please. <laughs> Venmo. We don't have any. Uh, Patreon, though. We spent it all on gold bars. <laughs> We're going to do a Patreon, I think. Are we? Okay. Let us know. Yes. If you do the Patreon for a dollar a month. Yeah. Why which is about dollar? 60 cents because it's American. Oh. 60 pence. It's about 60p, oh, which really? I know is more than 50p. <sighs> I know we've set the parameters. <laughs> That's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see. Yes. Anyway. So we are Elaine introduced Page. the fact. Elaine Page. Elaine it's Page. Not Elaine Page. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't see Elaine Page, did you? No, I saw Sheila Hancock. Sheila Hancock's better than Elaine Page, because Elaine Page is a big old Tory. Oh. Um, context, I saw Sheila Hancock in Houston Station yesterday and messaged Kate. Like, <laughs> Well, she was like, I've just seen someone. I think she's from a soap. She's quite an old lady. I think her name is June. And I was like, oh my God, June Brown is in Doc Cotton. And then I was like, no, I know who that was. <laughs> it's not her, but it's exactly the same with grey hair. And you were like, Sheila Hancock! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm really good at knowing obscure you people. You are. I messaged you because I was like, I don't know who this is, but you definitely will. And I definitely within did. Within two guesses, you got it. <laughs> and but then is she like, are they like the same level of actor? Yeah. Okay. I prefer Sheila Hancock. Do you? What's she been in? Because she's not big Tory. Oh, fair. Um, she played a Camp Margaret Thatcher in Doctor Who. <gasps> Love that. You, you've, I think we've spoken about this Doctor Who episode. The, um... With the sweets. Yes. And the happiness. Happiness She's, she's the leader. <gasps> She's the happy Margaret Thatcher. Nice. Side note, have you seen Gillian Anderson pictures as Margaret Thatcher in The Crown? No. I'm so sexually confused. Yeah. It's tricky. I hate this. <laughs> anyway, Elaine. We are introduced to her as a pain because she's tapping on the glass of a goldfish bowl. There's a fish tank and yeah. Tracy and Elaine look at, it, look at each other through it 
in a witty subversion of Baz Luhrmann's <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> yeah, it's um, weird. Also, I'm like, you're an adult. Don't be tapping on glass. Tap, tap, tapping on the glass. Way back through a wind. Ele- uh, Elaine okay. Page? No, <laughs> Evan Hansen. <laughs> okay. Cast me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, and, and it's revealed that Tracy was looking for her mum's address so that she mm, can write to her. It's really sad. It's tragic. And yeah, she's like, I just want to find mum's address and write her and she's going to come and get me. And it's like, she's not going to come and get you. She's yes. trash. Mm-hmm. And then... Oh, we see Olivier nominated Duke. Yes. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, I found that out yesterday and I was very excited. And has he won an Olivier? Or is he just nominated? Oh, is he award winning? I think he must be award winning. <gasps> he does a lot of stage work. Olivier... Award winning. Clive Rowe as Duke. Amazing. And what's he doing? He's cooking. He's just, yeah, doing some toast. No, he's making lasagna. Oh, yes. Yeah. Doing some cheese sauce. Cheese sauce. Um, and Justin Littlewood's like, oh, Tracy Baker's such a bloody wuss. She's yeah. so scared of those burglars or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and just uh, Tracy's like, I'm braver than you, Justin Littlewood, any old day of the week. Yeah, and then she has a big fantasy about how she saved people from a fire. She saved little Maxie. We love little Maxie. We love little Maxie. And there's a whole fire. That, and we see the animation, the Nick Sherratt animation. Yeah. There, there was a big fire in the dumper crowd before you got here and yeah. I saved everyone. And it's like, and then it does the actual reality. reality. And it's just Tracy Beaker's an arsonist? Yeah. She just set a fire in a bin. We love to see it. <laughs> and she didn't save anybody. No. She's kind of looked at it a bit. Yeah, it's a weird, like, you just see her staring through the flames. Yeah. Like bloody Damien in The Omen. Yeah, and then Mark's like, no. Mike, how dare you? Mike, sorry. <laughs> you you apologise. <laughs> I apologise, Mike. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike! <laughs> so Tracy beak away. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Tracy says, oh, Justine, you're such a chicken. Yeah. And we see a horrible animation of Justine oh. as a chicken. And she's crying. Mm-hmm. And it's quite relatable, to be fair. Yeah. I'll put that on the Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, just crying Justine chicken. That's yeah. my gender. And Justine gets the first dare, which is to flower bomb somebody. Yes. Tra- they have a dare game, based yeah. on the book The Dare Game by mm-hmm. Jacqueline Wilson. Um, and, <laughs> um, so Justine has to flower bomb somebody. Yeah. She puts it in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. She thinks she's going to flower bomb Duke. Yes. But Jenny gets it. Yeah, because Duke fucks off for some reason. I don't know why. And then Jenny... Opens. Probably getting out his mallet again. Yes. Let me go and get my mallet. Uh, and Jenny gets flower bombed. Yes. She's livid. She's, She's livid. She's fuming. There's also like a little sub... Kind of a subplot, even though it's the more important plot, of Tracy chasing Elaine around, going, Why haven't I been adopted? Yeah. That just happens a few times. And then one point she's like, if I'm so very special, how come no one wants me? And it's like, because you're obnoxious. That's my dating issues. Mm. <laughs> if I'm so special, how come nobody wants me? Because I'm obnoxious. That's why no one wants to date me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy Beaker gives us transferable life lessons that I didn't know I needed. And then Tracy gets dared to pour cheese sauce into Mike's wellies. Yeah, Question, cheese sauce in a welly, flour in a cupboard. Which gender are you? <laughs> I'm certainly cheese sauce in a welly. Yeah. What are you? I think I'm flour in a cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> Open me and puff. <laughs> Stick your foot in me and squelch. <laughs> How dare you? It's nice you've got across the board representation. <laughs> you've got flour in a cupboard and cheese sauce in a welly. Yeah. <laughs> diversity mm-hmm. you're welcome um and then jenny's like i'm gonna go have a shower and you better not fuck about when i'm having a shower yeah and then in a bit of a creepy oh, psycho yeah. kind of style yeah. justine Sneaks. picks the lock of the shower yeah slides the bolt across and steals jenny's clothes while she's mm-hmm. mid-shower and then jenny's like give me back my clothes yeah they're not incredible pranks because it's no. very obvious who's done them. Yeah. Um, but yeah. <laughs> we see Duke in the kitchen. Mike's around and he's like, you haven't seen a load of cheese sauce, have you? And Mike's like, you're not allowed to call them that anymore. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Saucy cheese. What does that mean? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, um, Cockney Child... Lead Cockney Child. Oh, he's the arbitrator. He, yes. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's the referee. Yes. Uh, and he's like, well, <laughs> Justine done flower and shower. Tracy just done cheese sauce. 
And Just say, like, what's Tracy going to do next? What is this Cockney rhyming slang for? <laughs> the gays. <laughs> Flower and shower, <laughs> tree Chase sauce and tree. <laughs> because Tracy's final day is to, or next day, is to climb a tree, climb a tree and scrape a knee. Her dress has got a tear. Mm. Um, you ever climbed a tree? Um, I don't think I've ever climbed I a tree. Must, there was a tree in my local park, mm-hmm. um, which always had like a 10p piece hidden in its branches somewhere. Oh. And I don't know if someone, some magical elves were doing it, or if it was my mother humouring mm. us. Seems more like magical elves. <laughs> That's more likely. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a tree in my local park that always, we call it the money tree. Aww. And it had loads of really nice branches. So it, it was really low to the ground. Yeah. So there's no danger involved. Okay. But there was financial gain. <laughs> you got to risk it to, I don't know. <laughs> Is that a phrase? You gotta... <laughs> but, um, Climb a tree, get 10p. Yes. 10p, a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, get five of those. <laughs> yeah, not 50p. You can buy a house with that. <laughs> right. I remember actually, I did... Um, did you ever... Were, were your parents into gambling? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, yours? Well, they, we liked the lottery. Uh, big fan of the lottery. Um, and I, I think like on I a about, big one. When I was about seven, yeah. my mum bought me a ticket for the lottery. Cute. And I got to choose the numbers and everything. Mm-hmm. And I got five pounds Oh. On my first week of doing <gasps> the lottery. And it was the best day of my life. Yeah. Five pounds is a huge amount of money. Yeah. And I did have my eye on a remote-controlled Henry J. Water noose from Monsters, Inc. Wait, say... He's the big octopus man. He's oh. like, I'll kidnap a thousand children before I let this company die. Yes. And they sold a remote control one of him. <gasps> and he scuttled everywhere. How big was he? Um... Kind of... Oh, small. That, yeah. I, I, I'm trying to say it for the... For I've got the, a tape a, measure somewhere. A, a small cat. Maybe like a foot long. Yeah. A rabbit. A big rabbit, small cat. Yeah, it's not a full-size Henry J. Water noose. <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> what can five pounds get you? <laughs> um, and yeah, I won the lottery that first week. Uh-huh. Tried it again next week. Fuck all. That's how it works. Yeah, every week, fuck all after that. Mm-hmm. Uh, every week, I had an absolute tantrum. Aww. <laughs> And you've not stopped since. No. <laughs> Every week on a Saturday, I'm just crying in front of the TV, oh. holding the piece of paper. No, I've not played the lottery for ages. No, me neither. Should we do it this week? Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. sure. yeah. Yeah. We'll give it a go. This could be our lucky week. Could be. Stay tuned. <laughs> if you never hear anything from us ever again, we've won the lottery and we've moved to Barbados. Yeah. So, bye. Bye. Uh, <laughs> so Tracy climbs the tree, scrapes her knee. Next week, like, we didn't win the lottery. <laughs> And um, she tree. gets stuck. Yes. Or as she said, I wasn't stuck, I was resting, which is me looking for jobs right now. <laughs> I'm not stuck. I I'm am resting. resting. On the laurels. <laughs> a little Peter, t- little toothy Peter, Peter with his nan. So he um, runs in to get... Tracy, stuck in a tree. Mike, mm-hmm. come and get her. And Mike puts his wellies on and put- squelch. And then pulls his foot out and Duke goes, my cheese sauce! <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time I said my cheese sauce, <laughs> I'd have two dollars. Because I've just said it twice now. Yeah. And that's 450 piece <laughs> ish That's so much money. <laughs> I'm going to get that remote control Henry J. Waters. <laughs> uh, so... And then they pull it down from the tree. Mm-hmm. And they do more dares. Yeah. Because they're level pegging. Yeah. We love a level pegging. We love a level pegging. Um, and the dare she gives Justine is to put a worm down her pants. Yeah. And like is... a queer icon. Yeah, she does she's, it. Yeah, gung-ho. We've all had a worm down our pants. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me like that. We've all had a worm down our pants. <laughs> Some more than others. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> are you the worm or are you the pants? <laughs> Uh, I'm, ooh, I'm first. <laughs> In your relationship, which one's the worm, which one's the pants? <laughs> that's, that's straight relationships, isn't it? Worm and pants. I think so. Is yeah. It? Yeah. I don't really know how they work. <laughs> what do they do? Touch elbows? <laughs> <laughs> um, Watch Question of Sport? They post about how much they hate each other on Twitter and then go, but I couldn't live without him. <laughs> 
you know? Yeah. yeah. I know a lot of people who post really ugly pictures of their boyfriends. Um, not like intentionally, just their boyfriends are ugly. <laughs> I think boys, straight guys just don't know how to take a photo. True. Yeah. Also, a lot of straight boys are ugly. Oh my God. What percentage of straight boys are ugly? It's in the high 90s. <laughs> A lot of people are ugly. A lot of people are ugly. Apart from women. All women are beautiful. <laughs> Anne Widdicombe? Oh. Okay. I'd say 90% of women are lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And everyone who doesn't identify as male or female is a deity. Yes. Stunning. A god slash goddess slash neither slash both slash everything. Yeah, deity. That would be the gender neutral. De- yeah, deity. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Whenever oh, anyone well asks me done. to wear pronouns, I'm like, do not refer to me. <laughs> um, you have to guess. <laughs> and it will be wrong. Um, all of the numbers. above and neither. Yes. <laughs> um, My pronouns are a trap. <laughs> You're trapped. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> so, um, Justin puts the woman down her pants. Yeah. Like a trooper. Mm-hmm. And then her dare to Tracy Beaker is to eat the worm. Yeah. Which we then and reveal she... is big worm trauma for her. <laughs> because her her stepdad, her stepdad's name is Big Worm Trauma, um, <laughs> made her, no, pretended to eat a worm. Kind of like waving worms in front of her, being like, you're going to eat this worm. Yeah. Is that a metaphor? I, oh my God, that's dark. I'm sorry I took it there. Yeah. How do we get out of this now? <laughs> So this Henry J. Water does remote control. <laughs> I'm so like with this bit. It was like... a full eight pounds. Oh my god! Like, and I got my five pounds. Yeah. I was earning my three pounds. Mm-hmm. I say earning like fifty p. If I get in the tree, <laughs> <laughs> my mother would take us down to the park and say, "Find all the money you can in the tree." And <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep ten percent, and you have the rest. Um, really? No, I didn't. <laughs> she wasn't like whoring us out <laughs> to the tree. Um, and I got my eight pounds. Yeah. Went down to the shop to get the Henry J. Water News remote control. Was it gone? Gone. Wow. And even the shop people I asked had no recollection of it. What? I think I got Jodie Foster flight planned. <laughs> Jodie Foster queer icon. Queer icon. Yeah. Anyway, we're out of it now. I'm suggesting... Oh, we're back in it now. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking that maybe we didn't need this flashback because eating a worm on its own is trauma. You didn't need more trauma. True, I think... The Tracy Beaker show. (laughs) (laughs) We didn't need more trauma. (laughs) Um, Um, But she eats it. But she conquers that trauma. don't worry, you don't see it. She obviously doesn't eat it, but she eats it. The character eats it. They didn't make Um, Danny Harmer do that. Yes. Poor Danny Harmer. And then they're like, oh, it's all equal. Tracy, what do you want Justine to do? And she essentially is like, I dare you to kill yourself. (laughs) She looks at a balcony and she's like, hmm. Hmm. (laughs) Very weird. Justine Littlewood is literally like, I'm not going to kill myself for you, Tracy Beaker. And I'm kind of like, I'd kill myself for Justine Littlewood. I mean, absolutely. I mean, I'd kill myself for free. (laughs) Oh my God. I've got a lot of issues. (laughs) My God. I just keep taking it there. You keep taking it's it the there. It's the gold bar. Yeah. <laughs> it's done something to me. Anyway, mm-hmm. Tracy Beak is the winner. Yeah. She reclaims her ugly green room. Mm-hmm. I'm like, was it worth it? Was it worth eating well, a worm? No. Was it worm it? Worm it. Hey. And then they go for tea. But she doesn't. She's like, I don't want the room anymore after Justine has cleared out her entire room. Yeah, <laughs> just Which it was with boxes. Of... Yeah. And Tracy's like, nah. I'm good. Unpack. Yeah. <laughs> That's a power move. Yeah. And but then, then they go, she one-ups her in the power moves. How so? With dinner. With the, Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's tea time. They're having yeah. the tea. What's grand they got? They're sitting there. He's like, well, I was going to do a lasagna, but cheese sauce f- full of feet. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Sometimes <laughs> your cheese. Who you ever been fucked by a foot? Oh, my God. <laughs> Have you? No. Oh, okay. I'd probably give it a go. Okay. Would you? Mm, I'm okay. <laughs> can think of Kick me things. up the hole. Um. <laughs> Kick me up the hole. Daddy. 
Right. <laughs> and then they say we didn't do the lasagna because the cheese sauce is gone. But what I've got for you instead, we're having spaghetti. spaghetti. And Justin was like, oh, it's all very squiggly and wiggly and oh. wriggly. And everyone's like, Bleh. Bleh. I can make my dreams come true. And my dreams will see me through. Doesn't matter what may come my way. No, 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 believe me now. I will win someday. Copyright Stormzy. <laughs> Absolutely. I did get the first line wrong, by the way, just there. I don't want anyone to hate me. What did you say? I said I can make my dreams come true. I said I can make my world come true. Oh. I'm so sorry. Wow. I apologise on behalf of Quiz Gone By. <laughs> we're going to have to issue a whole statement, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> That's not the bit we're apologising about in this episode. <laughs> if we have to apologise for anything, it's going to be something else that I've already yes. said. Yes. Right. Episode four. Cam's first visit. There's a writer coming to visit. A writer. She's a writer. Mm-hmm. Ooh, she's going to be dead glam. Mm-hmm. And she's going to write all about them, all about the children. So they need to do a life book. Yeah. Which is okay. a diary? Yeah. With some Autobiography. Pictures. Yeah. It's a bit long for Peter to say he's got no teeth. Aww. Life book's a bit easier. Mm-hmm. Um, so Tracy Beaker's writing all about her life. Yeah. And the river of tears that all of these people are crying because they had to give her back because yeah. she was just too hot to handle. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Justine and Louise. Louise. Yeah. Fuck they're you, there. Louise. God, she's... Honestly. A piece of work in this episode. Not actually, she was worse in a previous episode, but just shut up, Louise. Louise is a bit of a turncoat. Yeah. Pick pick a side, Louise. Exactly. Are you Justine or Tracy? I feel like she has picked a side, though. She's Justine. Yeah, but then in other episodes. Oh, I she's see. She's like, Tracy, you're my best friend. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, also, we'll get to it. Louise does have a bit of a... She has a moment in this. Yeah, she has a moment. By which I mean one line. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Justine is taking the piss out of Tracy. She's like, I bet the writer wrote, won't even read it. And Tracy's like, uh, shows how much you know about writers. I thought she was going to be like, yeah, because writers can read. <laughs> For some reason, I was like, that's going to be the next line. <laughs> um, um, and then um, Mike's busy cleaning everything up. Yes, and we are introduced to straight icon Adele. Straight icon Adele. Oh. Um, which you might think is an oxymoron. Nah. Adele defies all expectations. Mm-hmm. She defies gravity. Oh, wow. And, um, Adele Menzel. Adele Menzel. <laughs> Adina or Adele? Adina or Adele. Um, Adele Dazeem. Adele Adele. Adele. What's, what's wrong with us? Adele Dazeem. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, Adele Dazeem. Literally Adele Dazeem. Right. Um, so she's um, having a great time. Mike is trying to clean everything. Yeah, he knocks on Adele's door. Yeah. And she says, hello. <laughs> <laughs> she says, hello, and she's like painting her nails. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, and Mike says, can you help me clean? And Adele's like, I've already done my bit. It's fair. Yeah. Like, no, I've no, done no. the chores that I was given for the week. Mm-hmm. He hasn't made that much of an effort with the kids. Like, the other, he's like, can you help me? And the kids are like, no. He's like, well, <laughs> 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 what am I going to do about this? <laughs> um, and, um, Adele says, right, I'll do it. If I can have three cassettes from mm-hmm. your tape collection. Very early 2000s. Yeah, and I want a late pass as well. To see her CJ? CJ. But we actually, we only assumed that CJ was a boyfriend. Uh, no, we don't. Because he says, I thought you dumped CJ last week. And she's like, oh, that's say last week. But CJ could stand for Clarissa Jane. I see what you're saying. Mm. Mm. We assumed that CJ was a boy. We did. Which is wrong of us. It is wrong. We'll put out an apology for that. Yeah. <laughs> CJ could be non-binary. We don't know anything about CJ. Mm-hmm. We're sorry, CJ. Sorry. So, Adele. Icon just... Adele. Icon. Icon Adele. Mm-hmm. Um, she's better than the actual icon Adele. True. <laughs> yeah. True. <laughs> she could have had it all. Yeah. Rather than the deep. And um, Mike's like, oh, well, you've already had a late pass this week. Yeah. And Adele says, well. Then I'm not going to help you. And I was like, yes. So Mike goes off to do it by himself. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile. Um, yes. Duke's making a cake. Yes. And Duke's like, oh, what, what sort of... Someone's like, what sort of cake are you going to make? And he's like, I was thinking a sponge cake. And I was like, surely every cake is a sponge cake. Every cake is a sponge cake. Mm-hmm. A Victoria sponge cake yeah. is someone else. 
Whereas a chocolate sponge chocolate cake. Chocolate sponge, coffee sponge, mm -hmm. cum sponge. Sorry? That's what they called me in prison. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You can have an issue an apology for that as well. <laughs> I will not. Um, yeah, any cake's a sponge cake. Mm -hmm. And Tracy Beaker says, why don't I make a fairy cake? Because a fairy cake is a fair cake. Because with a normal cake, everyone gets a different slice of cake. But a fairy cake, everyone gets the same size cake. Iconic. Socialist, Socialist queen. queen. Oh, we stand. We stand. We love to no, stand. was about to stand. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, Tracy carry on with the writing. Yeah. And she's, she does brag a bit. Yeah. She's like, I'm, everyone's going to see this. The writer's going to love me. Justin Little says, good luck with that, Tracy Beaker. And Tracy mm -hmm. Beaker says, I don't need luck. I've got talent. Which I, I've said a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, never believed it. <laughs> if you say it a lot, maybe you'll believe it one day. Yeah, put it out into the universe. You can make your world come world true. come true. All my dreams will see me through. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> right. Uh, we are also introduced to uh, cake intellectual Maxi. Maxi? Where is Maxi? I've forgotten about Maxi. Maxi's adorable. I'm so sorry, Maxi. Love Maxi. We love he Yes. He's a little boy and he's helping Duke with the cake. Yep. And he's measuring it all out. He's chaotic. He's, a, he's chaotic yeah, good. Chaotic energy he's got there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he gets covered in cake. Yes. He's like, I want to lick the bowl. You cut... You can't lick the bowl when there's still cake mix in it. You lick it when it's empty. It's like, but then there's no cake mix in it. Logical. Mathematical queen, mm -hmm. Maxi. We love to see it. <laughs> um, and then he gets absolutely covered because he's doing the hand blender. Yeah. Because like, she's splashing all of him. Yeah. And so Mike comes down and is like, we're going to have to clean you up. Yeah. And they have a little bathroom fight. Wait. Okay. Context. They have water pistols. Retract Sorry. it. Retract it. Yeah. <laughs> retract. So they go up to the bathroom. Yeah. Um, and he's like, I'm just going to hose you down in the bathroom. Yeah. Um, but he's brought water pistols. Yeah, and they have a little, so Mike. little Mike. Mike's so cute. You're really good with the kids. And he's quite attractive at this. I, you keep saying that, and I... From what I remember from the first one we watched, six months ago, he was, like, nice looking then. Mm -hmm. But he looks a bit younger in these episodes. Does he? Yeah. Ooh. I think he's got his arms out, that's why. I see. I like, his, I like an arm. Mm -hmm. just, just a severed arm. <laughs> Keep it in a box. <laughs> uh, you can still get fingered with a severed arm. Oh my god! <laughs> you are on one today. I'm in heat. <laughs> a butch in heat. <laughs> um, and Peter, well, Peter's doing his life book as well. Mm -hmm. um, and he's talking about his fucking nan again. Yeah. Do you remember when there's an episode which I'm sure we'll come to in about six years time, <laughs> um, where um, someone badmouths Peter's nan. And Peter's like, don't you talk about my nan! Oh, and probably no. Probably like, deck someone. I don't remember that. That's very cute. He's in his little jumper. Oh. Bless his heart. Yeah. Um, and he's like, come and help me pick a picture of my nan. And Tracy's like, all right then. Yeah. She has Let's a really a sad flapjack. Flapjack? <laughs> sad flapjack. <laughs> sad flapjack. That's my gender. Um, <laughs> and she's talking about her mum. Yeah. yeah. She's like, we used to go to the fair all the time yeah. on all the rides and shit. And then he's like, we went everywhere with my mum. And then... Grey scale flashback oh. of the mum and the big worm trauma <laughs> boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, being like, bye. And just leaving her. Mm -hmm. They're off out drinking or whatever. It's really sad. It is really sad. Yeah. And the and sad, the sad like, music. Oh, I don't know. I guess it's a lighter defence thing. But I'm also like, you know this shit happened, Tracy. <laughs> like, don't defend your mum. Your mum's yeah. awful. But, eh. it's, she's, a, she's a child. Yes, I know. But. What Elaine the Payne needs She's to do is kind of, of be like, rage. listen here, Tracy, your mum's trash. <laughs> She's like, you're having a great time. You're eating cake. You're eating worms. You're climbing trees. <laughs> if you're with your mum, she'd probably be like, I don't know, shooting up. Oh, my God. She needs to do a RuPaul. I'm your mama now. <laughs> you don't say anything unless those cameras are on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, she needs to show her a picture of her as a child. Like, what would you say? To young Tracy Baker. <laughs> You're going to face some hardships in your life. She needs to be like RuPaul and hate trans people. <laughs> <sighs> we don't like to see it. Yeah. Season 12. Again, no trans people. No women. 
or are they just being told they're not allowed to take their hormones while they're on the show? Hmm. Because mm. that's the thing RuPaul did. We do not stand. Tracy Beaker would never. Tracy Be- no, for a number of reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy Beaker's Drag Race. Tracy's Drag Race. It's Hay Fever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tracy's Drag Race. Bog off Elaine, bog off Elaine. <laughs> We need to remix that. <laughs> <laughs> I made the best woman bug off. <laughs> wow. Anyway, Mike's still trying to get Adele. Yeah. To help him. And she's a negotiating queen. Adele for the UN. Honestly. <laughs> she's like, right, I want three tapes, yeah. late pass, I want to be driven into town after the writer's gone, mm-hmm. and I don't want to have to do my chores next week. And he's like, I can't, I just can't do that. And she's like, well then. You know, Clean up by your fucking self. Mm-hmm. 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 Why are you dripping wet? He's <laughs> like, oh, um, water pistols? Water pistols. <laughs> um, um, and then the writer arrives. The writer, whose name is Cam. Cam. Famously Cam. Camberley. <laughs> <laughs> short for Camberwick Green. What is Cam short for? Cameron? Cameron. Cameron Diaz. Mm, that is a famous Cameron. Cam on Eileen. <laughs> Come on, Eileen. Is that Ryan? It's got any children, yeah. yeah got any children. Um, so. Um, and Tracy's like, I've got to go and be glamorous before I see the writer. Yeah. Scurry, scurry, scurry. Puts on an ugly jumper. It's kind of like a poncho, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a knitted poncho Weird. with a big T on it. Yeah, for Tracy. T as in Troy. No, T as in trans rights. T as in titties. T as in thyroid cancer. That's one of them. That's oh, one of the memes. Fucking hell! High School Musical two memes. Just, just so you know. Just yeah. Catch all up. <laughs> we will be doing High School Musical two at some point. Yes. Probably in a year. Yeah. <laughs> There's um, so many shows so and so many films. <laughs> so when we started this, I was like, "Are we going to run out of shows?" Yeah, so we will be done by episode fifteen. <laughs> Here we are, thirty-one. Yeah. Thirty-two. Thirty-one. No, thirty-two. Thirty-two. Wow. Bloody hell. Mm-hmm. Thank you for sticking with us. Yeah. Anyway, she puts on a hot poncho and she scurry scurries off to Adele's room. Yes. To play and make up. Mm-hmm. And, and she picks up her lip lipstick. I was like, no, no, no. No, no lip liner! <laughs> <laughs> if you've listened to our trapped episode, you know how I feel about lip liner. <laughs> it's so essential. It is. Yeah. Paramount. Actually, to be honest, when she's finished her look, the lips are the least offensive bit. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah, we'll get on to it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Trace Big Rev UA. <laughs> Just cool. my knuckles, I'm sorry. Loud. How dare you? Sorry. I was talking about Trace Beaker MUA. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Trace's tutorials. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> Cam's listening to everyone's life story. Mm-hmm. She's doing her best to look interested. Louise is. Louise, manipulative queen Louise. Mm-hmm. Is like, love she's thing. put on a lisp. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is my granny. She's dead. So is my mummy. They're angels in heaven now. And the Cockney children are like, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Awful. Um, and then um, Trace Beaker jumps out and goes, ta da! And we're like, oh, no! Because no. she's done her hair. In little braids? No, plats. like plats. Plats, that's it. Pigtails. Are those pigtails? Amanda? Amanda Thrip. Amanda Thrip. <laughs> my mommy thinks they're sweet. Your mommy is an abusive, neglectful parent, Tracy Beaker. <laughs> She's not a film star. No. Stop idolising her. She's in Woking. <laughs> probably. Probably. We never actually got told her address yeah. in the file. Um, probably for the best. I'd honestly, have gone round and decked her. <laughs> honestly, if you take away the blush and the eyeshadow from this look, this is a festival look. She's got a glitter down the side. She's got a bold lip. She's got, a, she's got a cheeky highlighter. She has. She invented highlighter. I can't believe Tracy Beaker invented highlighter. <laughs> not the Kardashians. Not even drag queens. Tracy Beaker. Tracy Beaker invented <laughs> highlighter. Uh, she, uh, the sad thing is she looks like an awful clown. <gasps> she looks like that meme kid. The sad meme kid with loads of makeup on. In the car. Yeah. 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 I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Mm-hmm. We'll do a side by side. Yes. <laughs> Transformation Tuesday. <laughs> This is her now. Feel old yet? Um, and um, everyone pisses themselves. Yes. Because she looks awful. She looks bad. I'd have laughed at her. Yeah. Probably. 
Mm-hmm. And then she's like, oh no, oh, and runs off. Yes. Justine Littlewood steals her life story. Her life story and tears out a page and is like, look, she took a picture of a model and replaced it uh, as the picture of her mum. She's pretending her mum's a model. She's cut out of a magazine. Yeah. Investigative journalist Justine Littlewood. Is Louis Theroux could yeah. never. Is it Louis Theroux? Is it Justine Littlewood? We just don't know. <laughs> and then um, uh, Tracy's got on sulked in a. In the sulking room. Yes. There's which a big, there is an official the, sulking room in there. <laughs> we see Joe Frost's influence. We love it. Super Nanny. Oh my God. Super Nanny. <laughs> Can we review Super... Nah. I definitely used to watch it, but I don't know if it's a... Unacceptable. This behaviour is unacceptable. There was a meme of Super Nanny. She goes, Megan, this behaviour is unacceptable. And it's like, the British tabloids. <laughs> oh my God. Where's Super Nanny now? She's in it, but she went to America. Love that. I don't know what she's doing now. Didn't she go to America in like 2007? On the naughty step. <laughs> <laughs> I just sat there waiting for someone to be naughty. Love that. Prince Andrew. <laughs> Seriously? Put Prince Andrew on the naughty step. And also... Hold him to account in any way <laughs> for being a nonce. Can we get sued by the royal family? No. No. Oh, see, now, I've heard you say the word nonce a lot. Yeah. During the recording of all of these episodes. <laughs> is nonce slang for paedophile? Yeah. Okay. What did you, lots of people think it's not, but it, it, it doesn't I mean just, just a like silly person. Twonk. No. Nonce is a very specific word. Well, I've got to apologise to a lot of yeah. people. <laughs> a lot of people do. I feel like I'm doing some educational... Are you sure? Yeah. Or is it just a Midlands thing? Google it now! I'm going to Google it now. Stand by. I'm Googling it now. Nonce. Oh, I've, oh, what? Wiktionary or Urban Dictionary. Yeah. Well, I feel like people do use it to mean silly person, but that's not what it means. Oh, oh, oh. Why are you making that? What's happened? Oh, God. I think you... Well, the, I'm on Urban Dictionary. Yeah. And the example they're given is that Gary Glitter, he's a right nonce. Yeah. Um, yes, it's, um, it's an acronym. This is what Urban Dictionary is telling me. Uh-huh. To explain the segregation of inmates who are convicted of sex crimes towards children. Not really? on normal communal exercise. Oh, yeah. Which is like NAF. So it doesn't mean... What does NAF mean? NAF is from Polari. What's that Gay mean? slang. Oh, um, I didn't gay know Gay language. That. Um, and it also comes from like Roma. Oh. Language as well. Um, uh, not available for fucking. No. We are learning a lot today. We're often learning. Yeah, so don't... You can call people a nonce, just you have to deal with the repercussions and the consequences. Yeah. You might get sued. Yeah? Yeah. But not if you're calling Prince Andrew a nonce, because he is a nonce. Correct. There we go, right. <laughs> it's not liable if it's true. Put um, a little jingle for our educational section. <laughs> <laughs> the word of the day is nonce. nonce. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is brought to you by the letter N for nonce. <laughs> Anyway, right. Tracy Biggs in the sulking room. Yes. And um, Cam comes in and is like, I read your life story. It was really good. Mm-hmm. And Tracy's... Cam is... I remember not liking Cam, but Cam is great. Cam's great to begin with, certainly. Oh, but I feel like it. you'd reach the end of your tether with Tracy Beaker quite quickly, Absolutely. wouldn't you? Absolutely. Yeah, I do not... When she reaches the, reaches the end of her tether, I'm like... You also, I think Tracy, Tracy Beaker burns her kitchen down. Does she? Yeah. The fuck? You'd be pissed off. Tracy. Mille Cruce. <laughs> Cam don't have Lacruce. Because, as we learned from Tracy, yeah. you ain't glamorous. You're supposed to be nice with pretty hair and lovely makeup and yeah. writers are glamorous. They're writers. They're glamorous they are with posh hair and makeup and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. And I was like, our socialist queen has fallen. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Tracy, Tracy Beaker, queen of excess. Camp. Yeah, you were doing so much. Now it's camp. <laughs> True. Yeah. True. Wow. Oh my God, we've learned so much. We've got so much to consider. <laughs> and so camp leaves. Yeah. But she leaves a, a fairy cake. cake. Yeah. Because it's fair. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. um, and 
goes goes home. But yeah. Tracy Beaker waves out the window saying, Thanks for the cake! Queen of mood swings! <laughs> she I bites mean, the cake, same. <laughs> gives a thumbs up, yeah. she bites into the cake, and we get a classic Tracy Beaker freeze frame. We love to see it. It's so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, again, if you've heard the first outing of Tracy Beaker, uh, she's been outed, no. <laughs> um, you'll be aware that they always freeze it just at the wrong second. Yes. Like when all your friends jump in a picture on the beach. Yeah. And one of them fucks it up. Yeah. Um, and it's it's a shame. Yeah. But it's what we've come to expect. It is. It's the calling card mm-hmm. of Tracy Beaker. Absolutely. And then she can make her will come true. All her dreams will see her through. Doesn't, Doesn't matter what may come her way. way. No, no, no. Believe me now. I will win someday. Do, 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 do. It's a great time. Yeah. Some by Kesha. It's not. It's some by Keisha. Keisha? Keisha. Where's she now? I don't know. Hope she's all right. She changed the I the S for a dollar sign. <laughs> yeah. She found it in a money tree. She's just released a new album. Has she? Yeah. Oh. But I've seen no promotion, so I assume it's bad. <laughs> There's space about to blow. Uh, 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 uh. That's my favourite Kesha song. Is it? It's also in the musical Anne Juliet, which is, is a camp all time. 10 nice. out of 10 would recommend. We'll go and see it at some point. I've seen it twice already. <laughs> but I'd go again. Good. Right. That's it. Is it camp? Yes. Do we need to answer this? I feel like we answered We it have answered this. So, yeah. Were these episodes camp? Well, obviously now Tracy Beaker is camp queen. Yes. Queen of excess. Decadence. Yes. <laughs> um, um, is it queer? I mean... I mean, worms in trousers. And queer icon Justine Littlewood. Queer icon Justine Littlewood. Anytime Seven she graces looks, our screens. Stunt and pre. She's a strong... Oh, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Yes. We love her so much. Oh. oh. Montana, if you're listening, we love you so much. Doesn't she run a Zumba class now? <gasps> Is that why I've heard? Can we go? <laughs> Someone on Twitter said that she now runs a Zumba class. And I I'm going to go. We'll, yeah. we'll put that on the Patreon. Yes. For a dollar a month, you can see us go into Zumba with Justine Littlewood. <laughs> I mean, I need to work out. So yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's do that. It's probably in like Epping or something. Yeah. Oh. We've got to travel for it. I'd travel for Justine Littlewood. I'd go to the ends of the earth for I'd Justine Littlewood. I'd kill for Justine Littlewood. I'd die for Justine Littlewood. <laughs> yeah. I mean, again, I'd die for free. Um, <laughs> Would you eat a worm? No, because I'm a vegan. I see. I'd eat... Oh, they do do in M&S, a vegan Colin the Caterpillar, here's what he eats. Which is kind of like a gummy worm. Okay. They're vegans. Well, that sounds like a pleasant experience. <laughs> we could have that as a nostalgic snack. Oh, we could. Would you eat a mealworm? What's that? Oh, mealworms are the worst. You give them, put them out for the birds. We were a very ornithological family. Oh yeah, you've already talked about this. <laughs> Decomposing owls. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, it's it's queer. Yeah. There's some campery. Yeah. And I'm glad we watched it again. Yeah, I am too. I should say this. We watched it on a DVD, which is like the Tracy Beaker DVD files, which was given to me for Christmas by my sister's partner. So big shout out to Charlotte for that. Thank you. I know you so well. That's amazing. I know. They are great, to be fair. (laughs) (laughs) Lovely time. Lovely time. Um, Yeah, fab. Yeah. Uh, Do us. Yeah, yeah, follow us. On uh, Instagram and Twitter, at Queers Gone By. Yes. You can follow me, fucking hell, (laughs) at Caitlin uh, R. Powell on Instagram and at Caitlin PWLL on Twitter. And you can follow me at Kate Butch One (laughs) on both of them. She's streamlined. Ugh. Please do review the podcast. Oh, please. Um, unless it's negative, in which case, keep, you, Fuck off. keep it to your fucking self. <laughs> uh, or simply, if you're on Apple, tap on that little five star thing. Oh, yeah. On the, it's really simple. You don't even have to write a review. Mm-hmm. It does it and it takes it. It's like, boom, thanks. Thanks for your five stars. Um, tell a friend. Tell an enemy. Eat a worm. <laughs> put your feet in cheese sauce. Yeah. Uh, we're going to finish our gold bars. Well, I've just got a little bite. Saved a little bite. You've nibbled all the way around it, haven't you? Like yeah. a little Kit Kat. Yes. Yes. Um, cheers, cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs> Big gold bar trauma. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'm going to have to apologise a lot. Mm-hmm.